Welcome to another Realvolve training video. In this segment, we're going to cover a new feature that we've added to activities that have potential appointment times. If I go to a workflow item, say for instance the photographer appointment, we want to be able to assign a specific time and date for the photographer to come do their job. If you edit this particular appointment and look at the when on the scheduled time, You'll see that we've added a new option down here at the bottom called photography time and this changes the the time selection itself does change based off of the key date that's specified so in this case I'm dealing with the photography date therefore the photography time is the only option that potentially could be there if I chose like closing date on transactions then closing time would be here so what this does is instead of assigning a specific start and end time for this activity, which we may not know when we start the workflow, we can specify that we're going to key this date and time off of whatever field we've got it selected for. So in this case, we've got it selected for the photography date and photography time. So I'll click on the update on this, and you'll see that this is set up for the, the photographer appointment is set up for zero days after the photography date, which is the actual photography date itself. I have another activity in here, which is set up the photography appointment. So there may be a time in which you want to normally set this up so that you can pick the photographer. You may not know the photographer in the very beginning, but you've set up a, an activity here that allows you to pick the photographer. And we're going to set this one here maybe one day after the list date. So one day after the list date, we're going to assign the photographer. I've added three additional checklist items, one being the property photographer, which is the person itself, and then the photography date and the photography time as three separate merge fields. So let's see how this is done in action. Here we have a property and we'll go to the listing information and you'll see if we scroll down here to the bottom, currently there is no photography date or time assigned. You'll see that the only choices whenever we are using the the time option that we were just outlining, it's only going to be on those date fields that have the appropriate time that goes along with them. So the open house time could be used, the virtual tour time could be used, photography of course, staging, broker open, you can specify time on all of those. If we go through to the people tab and take a look at this, you'll see that at currently we don't have a photographer assigned at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the radar and we're going to start this workflow. The workflow is the, the new listing workflow and we'll click on next and you'll see that we've got like there's 10 or so activities of those items that we've got. I'm just going to click on next. We'll use all of those and I'll select Joe agent on that and the assistant, Annie assistant and we'll click on next. Now here's the case. We've got a photography date as one of our milestone dates, but we don't necessarily know that date, so we can leave it blank. We do know, however, the listing date and the expiration date, and those were all automatically pulled into this workflow wizard because we've already entered that information. All the calculations on those have been pre-calculated except for the appointment itself. We don't know that date and time yet because it's just not part of it. So I'm going to click on next. The other thing that we do not know yet is the actual photographer. I do have in there because it's pulled it from the people that we've got Sam Smith and Ron. Click on done. It's come to the time where I need to, to set up the photography appointment. So I'm going to come over here and say that I want to set up the appointment. And there may be several different photographers that we use. So in this case, I'm going to say we're going to use Phil, uh, Phil Photo, and we'll just go ahead and put that in. And we've called Phil, and we've specified that, yeah, we want to do the photography shoot on Thursday, the 9th, and we will do it at 11 a.m. By specifying this information, what it does is it goes ahead and takes that appointment, which I probably should have shown you down here. Just Let's go ahead and go down here. For the photography appointment, you'll see that it's appointment, but there's no time or date assigned to it. And actually, at this point, there's really no person assigned to it. So by us using this checklist activity, um, I'll go ahead and check these off as being done. So the activity itself has been done, and we'll go ahead and close that. Scroll down now here to the uh, photography appointment, you'll see that 
the photography appointment now has Phil Photo as the person that's assigned to it and also that it's on the uh, the ninth at 11 a.m. so by assigning those elements as checklist items I was able to go ahead and change a totally different activity so that it was properly set up and that's really one of the advantages of a workflow activity and, and the actions and checklists are able to do things for you and if we look at the photography date we can see that it's on April 9th uh, 2015 at 11 a.m. now quite possibly we call the um, the seller and they say oh there's just no way we can do it at 11 can we change that to be one o'clock so you say sure yeah we can do that we'll come down here and we set it for one o'clock by setting it here in the photography date section we can take a look over here on our activities list now and you'll see that it's gone ahead and changed that uh, one o'clock time from 11 to 1 so it's done that for us automatically if I go to the calendar and let's go to April 9th and we scroll down through to one o'clock you'll see that we have our photographer appointment so that is uh, it in a nutshell it's a neat feature if you have additional questions visit our website send us an email we'll be happy to answer them have a great day